And new details this evening in the drowning death of a two-year-old boy at an in-home daycare in Seminole County. The daycare owners will not face any charges, and the boy's family says they want some laws to change. Fox 35's Marie Edinger joins us right now. So, Marie, you just spoke with the boy's grandmother. Yeah, she explained the in-home daycare where two-year-old Wesley Rowley drowned was not licensed. We found that in paperwork, too. It was only registered. Rowley's family is trying to get laws tightened up for daycares like that one. Just a few days before he passed away, he finally started talking and said, Mama. So we never got to hear his voice or what he had to say. We never had the opportunity to do that. The Seminole County Sheriff's Office incident report explains the tragedy moment by moment. The daycare owner brought one child inside to go to the bathroom, but left five others outside by the pool. That's when two-year-old Wesley Rowley fell into the pool. I was very angry. I still am. There was a mesh fence surrounding the pool, but the Department of Children and Families says its officers were able to push it open easily, even when it was shut and latched. That's how the little boy got in. When deputies got to the scene, they found Wesley laying on the deck in a pool of water, blue and not breathing. His heart rate started decreasing slowly, and at 6.30, we lost him. In Central Florida, the only county that requires daycares to be licensed is Brevard. The other counties only require them to be registered, meaning they don't have to be inspected. The Seminole County Sheriff's Office says the daycare owner wouldn't have known the fence was defective, so they aren't charging her criminally. Now, Wesley's family is pushing for new laws for registered daycares. They want higher insurance coverage, safeguards around pools, a defibrillator on hand, and a requirement to have extra staff. In, in that situation, if there was a secondary barrier, a secondary secondary anything that could have helped get her to him quicker, he might be here with us today. The petition to get those new laws enacted already has over 16,000 signatures. In the studio, Marie Edinger, Fox 35 News. Thanks.